believe his excuse was he, as, as the son's adopted father, um, he would carry on in Lucifer Star's, uh, or Lucifer's place as manager of America. I believe, something like that. Like I said, I was dying inside of a white house somewhere of some disease, of a fever or something like that. I just remember being really hot and really in pain and really sick and basically burning up and dying pretty much. Well, I believe. And before he left, he laughed because he said, because I said, you'll never get away with this. And he said, but, he's, but son, I'm going to be far away from here. He said it in his, in his normal accent, in his, in his Abraham Lincoln accent, that he was going to be far away from me, giving a, a public address at a, in a town, probably Serengeti or whatever, where, wherever else, basically, while well, I died in bed and no one would be the wiser. Like I said, they waited 20 years before, the, before they finally admitted that I was dead, or something like that. They tried to hold it off. But I was dying in bed as uh, being a small three foot tall or four foot tall child while well, basically Abraham Lincoln claimed or tried to make legitimate his adoption to me, basically saying that he had adopted the small child Lucifer Star and therefore he would be continuing in my stead. And where I said, fuck you, you'll never get away with this, blah blah blah. And basically, well, I died in 1917 inside of a White House. And then 50 people inside the town died from the same disease or something as mosquitoes were flying around. And one of them landed on me and then took my disease out into the world where it killed 50 people or a couple hundred or thousand. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, it gets all complicated as I am Lucifer's star, creator of 12 types of life and also the stars themselves and... 120 to 400 planets and 1.5 foot tall life forms and exoskeletons as I created them genetically at some great time ago b Trillions of years ago. So anyway, so in 1917 I died yeah. oh. I was burning up and I had, a, I had a fever of 120 or 140 or something like that and died basically from some kind of disease or poison I'm not exactly sure so anyway, and Abraham Lincoln said it was very unfortunate that his son, Lucifer Star or whatever, I don't even know what, what he claimed my name was, basically had died and he would be taking over in his place. And that it was a horrible thing that, uh, that, that his son would die or something like that. I don't really know. You're going to have to go back and look. But basically, that's where I died. <sighs> the Lucifer Star. Anyway. So a lot of people would claim that I was dead and gone, blah, 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 blah. But I didn't die. And I was saved by somebody else. And carried on. And like I said, that was nothing compared to my 1850 death where they tied me to a nuclear bomb and went... But 150 years, million years later, and I was found and saved again. And made into Brian or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. It gets all very confusing and stuff, but that's basically my timeline as Lucifer Star. So, apparently, Abraham Lincoln was already spending the money inside of my Fort Knox, as well as thinking about my cruise ships and everything else. So anyway, yes. And while I did have a small empire then, my empire now is much, much bigger! As I am still the landowner of America. And... Also, the one who chose the money in 1980-something that you use every day, known as the, the United States American dollar. So anyway, and I also chose lots of other things and names and stuff like that. Now you just kind of stuck with me. And Lucifer Spice and all that other stuff. Anyway, though, Abraham Lincoln was just thinking about the money and all that other stuff. But I am I am actually the creator to your life form type as well as the exoskeletons, endoskeletons, and 1.5s. So anyway, it gets all complicated, and I'm, a, I'm the builder of the of, of, of the of the Leviathan, the Titanic, the Olympic, the Emperor class, and quite a few other big steam steel ships as we were making them one every two years or so, or something like that, very quickly. My Belfast, my LS shipyard, I also made lots of steam trains, and I designed them, and I designed the engines on the Titanic as well. And they're very amazing engines. And I had this crazy idea of a triple expansion steam engine. 
that maybe it would be more efficient than the, the normal just single expansion steam engine. So, and by varying the piston size, you know, you could maintain pressure among them. You know, as the pressure goes out of one small piston, it goes into a bigger piston and then goes into a bigger piston, recouping the energy, and then maybe run it through a turbine or just shunt it to a turbine. I wasn't exactly sure. But anyway, though, I don't really know. I had a lot of engineers, and it was just a crazy idea. I didn't know it. I didn't know it actually work. But they tested out models, and they said that it seemed to work. So I don't really know. And like I say, I had very good engineers and very wonderful people, and people like Frank Dobbs in in Ireland or, or England, you know, and other people like that that worked that actually really did work directly for me and stuff like that. And he was very amazing. And I personally consider him a hero. And I think I had him knighted or whatever else like that because he is a great man and he restored a lot of my things that were lying in the rust bin and being forgotten to time and space and all that stuff. And he, after he took down all my, all my, all my towers and I mean all my, um, all my, uh, my what's called I had all these uh, what's called towers, and he was being paid to knock down my brick towers as they would probably be falling down eventually anyway because the brick was starting to settle and crack and all that and fall apart. So then they were basically going to come down and hurt people. So he started taking down all the old uh, chimneys and stuff like that. And I had designed them. So anyway, eventually, I guess he kind of found out about me. But I hired him more directly and everything else like that. Or he was hired through somebody else. But basically, he was working pretty much for me. And um, like I said, he was a great man. And he restored many, many things. And actually started a group of people to restore my things. And I love him very, very much. And cared a great deal about him, even though I never met him. And he was a wonderful man. And his people would, would say the same thing about him. Never had there been a better man. So, anyway. And I wish him all the love and luck in his life. And I'm very sorry. And I really wanted to meet him. I really wanted to meet him before he died. So, anyway. Like I said, my Irish people, my Ireland people, some of the best people ever. So, anyway. And a lot of Chinese as well. So, Asian people. Anyway, eventually people would find out about all these things and all these companies and all this stuff. So, just telling you now so you can know. Anyway. Because they kept all my, uh, the first four of all my steam engines and the first four of all my of all my trains and tractors and everything else, and my cars and my aircraft. They were supposed to keep the first four for as long as possible inside of a museum or inside of a warehouse. So, anyway, and they did. That's why there's the first four of every Rolls Royce, every other car, and even the first four of, of a lot of American cars as well. Anyway, so because it's for prestige, prosperity, and because they were my personal ideas and, and vehicles made. And people liked them so much that they wanted to build more of them. So, anyway, and that effect changed everything. So, anyway. Anyway, so yes, I am Lucifer Star of the Titanic. And also things like, 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 like water, water turbines. You could anchor, a, um, anchor a, a, tug, a barge in a stream. And just by anchoring it in a stream, you could actually get power as well as grinding, as well as run a sawmill right from my barge that was anchored in a stream. So we built a couple of those, and they worked very good for the for the for the Chinese. You would just anchor this barge in the stream, and it'd be anchored there. And it had a big paddle wheel on the back, and the paddle wheel could drive, like things like a pump, water pump, or or um, or even a um, or a uh, or a sawmill, or a textile, or or a generator, or something. And the Chinese use these a lot inside their streams and river banks and stuff like that, where the big paddle wheels. Because you don't necessarily need a dam; you can just anchor a barge with a big big paddle wheel. And you can get power from that. So, or, you know, that's basically just like a hydro dam. So, anyway, so you just tie the rope around a couple of trees and then you just anchor the barge right there. And it sits there and runs the paddle wheel and then you grind your, your, your grain or you do whatever you need to do. And we built like 120 of these things. And they were actually a very popular model. So, anyway, another Lucifer Star thing. And lost. Um, mostly they, they use them for sawmills and stuff like that. So, anyway, whatever. It's all in the past. It's history. But also things like the Silk Road and all that other stuff. Anyway, yeah. So, um, anyway, now you kids can just realize who your epic, epic creator and the, and the one who was LS. And yes, I know, you robbed my trains and you robbed my banks and you did everything else. And it's okay. Because we hunted you down. And we didn't always kill you. We just locked you up. And that's why I gathered and, and had quite a bit of quite a bit of love and quite a bit of caring about it. Because it's like, ah, you just went to jail for a while. 
and they ask you to <laughs> ask you to give back the gold, which you did. So, you know, you're free to go. Anyway, usually we just recovered like one third or whatever. It's like just give us back what you got. You know, and they did. So, anyway, and that was that. Sometimes we left them a little bit for you know, cause we don't need to take all of your money. So anyway, there's lots of things that happened in time and space. You know how basically even the outlaws and the criminals seem to love me. So anyway.